Hello, Red Alpha Tales here, bringing you episode three of Great uh, One True Ultimate China and uh, Mini Communist China here at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, we have gotten ourselves since last episode in a predicament of a situation. Um, well, first off, I declared war on Mao and capitulated him, as you can actually see. This little dongu is all mine. But unfortunately, um, I think what happened is that the event for the uprising happened? I, I did. I didn't select the uh, let the uprising come option. I kind of hid it away, and then, even though Communist China has already been capitulated, the event that gives them much of land is still here. So, you know, <laughs> it's a bit of a bug paradox. You you might be a bit interested in fixing that. Regardless, though, so we are war Communist China. Uh, it also pulled in the Soviet Union, even though we did kind of have a non-aggression pact. You know, Soviet Union, that we, we have those for a reason. Like, uh, non-aggression pacts uh, help stop walls, they help prevent walls, you know. It also makes uh, friends between uh, great powers, like the German Reich. I mean, you're good friends, but... No. Oh. You, know, you know, it just... You, you're going to have a good fun time, uh, Soviet Union, especially since I do kind of have to push up through Siberia with pure infantry. I, I'm being serious. Like, all I have is literally just infantry. It's all pure infantry. <laughs> We're going to have to push through the Soviet Union with pure infantry. I was not ready for this. Why? Why? Why, Comintern? Why hast thou forsaken thee? And also, uh, Japan declared war me. I actually don't even know why they did. They shouldn't have gotten the secondary, um, war goal against me. So, yeah, I'm a bit confused. They, they just... They, they just hated me so much. I hate the fact I already kicked them out, though. They're gonna try to get back in, though. Uh, the only area that they can push me through is Valiosta, because I didn't really secure the area. But in the meantime, we're just going to take care of their holdings in the Soviet Union and push them out of Valiostok. And then finally actually get that achievement I've been wanting so much, the Awaken Angry. Because we already forced a Japanese surrender, but we didn't conquer all the court territory. Which I don't know if, that, if conquered means you just have to own the land? Um... Military-wise, or do you have to get it through a peace deal? So, hopefully, either way, we will get the achievement. And, um, yeah, we'll get that all f wrapped up and finished. Also, uh, with other achievements, we are sort of getting close. We are having our field marshal at level 6. He's only three levels away from getting level 9. And then we can also have the Sun Tzu achievement. And the other one, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, we're somewhat getting close. We did annex the Guanzi clique. But in the same token, we still need to annex Sunan. Which they themselves are sort of getting close. We just need to integrate the Union's army. Which we will do. I don't think there's anything I want from the slots here. We can renegotiate the unequal treaties, but I don't... It won't be that important for now. We also, If we're only making infantry equipment, then we just have to worry about making steel. But unfortunately for us, the uh, Germans are all too willing to actually give us their steel. So we'll start integrating the Union's army. We're going to take care of Communist China with our 24 newly spawned troops. Uh, Funny, it's the Communist elites. And uh, we need to push through the Soviet Union. Luckily, we do only have the the Shibli Sandman, Shangxi, uh, called into the wall. Which means this one front here won't be called in unless the Soviet Union declares on it themselves. Which is fine, I, I don't want to push this front yet until the Germans declare war. So, we'll just be pushing through the Siberian region for now. Though we don't really have a lot of troops, do we? Might need to leave that once we wrap up a few more fronts. We'll probably send... Um, this guy up here to reinforce the border because I know the Soviets are oh, they're really wanting it back. But anyway, we'll go back down to the speed three and start wrapping up a few of these 
splotches before we um, take care of anything else. Yeah, the Soviets are already wanting this land back. Do they go on the offensive? If I get all these horses that actually attack, that'd be grand. The faster we can actually start cutting off troops, the better we'll definitely be off. We have new research that we need to get done. We are not making any support equipment, but for the moment we'll just get more research on the go. <clears throat> and um, hopefully the war with the Soviets won't be that bad, even though we literally only have infantry equipment. Hopefully our generals will carry us through. That's the only thing I can hope for. Uh, how good is our cavalry? I don't think our cavalry is actually that good. I hate combat with. Definitely get some improved cavalry here, even though I kind of do want to replace them sometime soon. Well, let's get up to a 20 with them. And we do have lots of equipment since we have been seizing a few countries and taking all the stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to fully capitulate or fully take over all the land in Chinese. But that's okay. He will prevail somehow. <clears throat> Looks like we're almost about to put the Japanese out of Vladivostok. Which means they won't have a port, and which means then we can go eat them all. Feed our horses. Our horses are hungry. They're carnivorous. Also, looks like the commies are continuously expanding, which is super annoying. I really need to, to just annex it all in one go. Thank you. Let's also get some atomic research going. Probably we'll be making nukes in time soon, but we do need the research. Hopefully the Germans will be all too happy to declare war on the Soviets early. So make it super easy for them to, um, or leave our border, at the very least. Because we probably have the entire Soviet army here, all in Siberia, waiting to attack us. And luckily we do have the advantage. Uh, a lot of the supply is okay for the moment. And the Soviets are having to send supply all the way through Siberia, which will slowly become a problem for us. But for now, we do have the better supply route, I do believe. Anyway, the uh, Japanese are all surrounded and they don't have a port, so they'll die soon. And uh, our reinforcements from the state of Xinjiang is now moving over here, and we'll slowly get a push up. Try and stop this advancement. Also, we can actually just attack you. And there we go, the horses are now eating all the Japanese. These guys are now moving over to this front, which is a small front. But we do need to go and give you a new front attack. And I suppose you'll lead the front, front charge. I'm kind of regretting we didn't take the uh, other doctrine. If we didn't take the mass assault. It probably would have been a bit more useful since now we've kind of escalated a little bit early. But we will have to make do. This is not a bad doctrine to get. It's just... It's just one that we're going to have to work on later on during the war. I really want you out of that port. We are going to improve artillery. Is there anything else I really want to improve? Uh, tanks would be amazing right now. But I don't think we have the resources for it. No, we don't have oil. That's going to be the more crucial part, getting tanks. For the moment we'll just get artillery since we do have a bit of tungsten. And we'll go and try and cut off the Soviets. At least take, take the tank from them. Anyway, it looks like the commies are mostly being wrapped up. The commies elite should be almost 
done for. Uh, I don't actually even know where the supply route is going. Because I don't have a capital to move supplies from. So I think they all are suffering uh, attrition because they're supposed to be getting the supplies from Shanxi, which is now mine. Anyway, let's get a traditional containment, get some more organization. We'll definitely won't be needing that for the fight in Siberia, which we're almost told anyway. We do have that minus 10% supply consumption from our doctrine, and hopefully that'll help us carry us through. And <laughs> bypass the one China policy, because we are one China. And we negotiate the nine equals treaty. We could call and good say that. I mean, why wouldn't we? But for the moment, what do we need? Political power gain is not bad to get. We don't need 60 divisions. Extra planning skill? I think that'd be good. Certainly be useful. And looks like the Japanese are trying to break into our ports, which is fairly unfortunate. We don't have enough troops here at the moment to really hold them off. Uh, we need 30. Let's move that. Yeah, we need 30 divisions to hold off all of these ports. Uh, we do have these really weak divisions, but we'll shoot them onto regular infantry. The Japanese are now landing troops. Which I suppose we're just going to be reorganizing a few more divisions to hold off the coast. We are lacking how much steel? Six more steel. We can actually get one more for Germany. There we go. Now we're making 320 guns a day. That's pretty good. It's kind of a shame that we've only specialized literally in one thing this entire war for the last three years. But hey, if it works. Try and make it work, and if it doesn't, we're gonna have to get a tank into this port. So the Japanese are actually making a break, which is really unfortunate. But what we'll have to do is simply push them back. I don't want to give you guys anything. Ah, just don't bother with that. Okay, we'll send these 24 divisions here to stop the leak that we have from the Japanese. And then we really need to start sending more troops over to the Soviet border. Though I think we're actually holding, we're doing fine. So take it back. As for you, I need you to go and just finish off the Japanese here. And who else needs some more orders? You. As I said before, we need to go and get you to plug in the Japanese. Though we might be able to steal the port. That's not a bad idea. Oh yeah, the Japanese actually don't even have troops here. So we can actually use our useless tank. Which still is just using uh, crate wall tanks. Oh, and panthers. Panzers. Not actually panthers. Yeah, steal that port before the Japanese can actually uh, get into it. There we go. So that plug's been stopped. And now... I actually don't need you to take that one thing. And now the best area to go and help push against the Soviets would be... Let's see. We could open our sinking front now. Because it looks like they are... Uh, are they moving troops away? No, they're not. Hmm. We already have enough troops here. We'll, we'll make a good push for through Xinjiang. I'll make a look quicker front through Russia. And steal all of the Siberian uh, resources. We're making decent progress. Uh, we haven't got an achievement, so I assume we're going to have to just take the land from Japan? 
Probably, actually. But we will eventually actually have to wait for the Allies to help us destroy the Japanese Navy. I think the Japanese Navy currently is still at full strength. 168 ships. Are you at war with the... No, you're not at war with the Allies. I'm surprised you actually haven't not demanded Indochina yet. Because you did have the South Strike Doctrine. I think I recall you taking that. Do you have 150 more political power? And we're going to integrate the administration. At least we'll get this achievement done. And let's see, we lost half a million men. The um, other team has lost. It's a good number. Uh, they lost significantly less. But we are, well, they technically lost more, but we're fighting multiple enemies. So actually, technically, we're doing well against the Soviets. About 2 to 1, which is pure infantry. And luckily we still have 2 million manpower, which I'm fairly surprised we still actually have that. Anyway, we'll get infiltration death. Depth. And finish off that land doctrine. And we can really start moving to other things. And actually the Japanese are still going to keep up at this. And I'm kind of bit ominous that no one's actually defending this one port. C could you, you know, defend this port? How many ports do you need to defend? 17. Then why are you having this problem? I I'm perplexed. You need now to defend 18 ports, actually. We really need artillery. So if we are not spending that much infantry equipment, which we are, we might want to move a few factories over to artillery production. Even though artillery has gotten nerfed, it's still fairly useful to get. Anyone wants to move at the speed a bit? We're actually doing all right against the Soviet Union. Got a military academy on the go. Now we need to go and probably not conquer Tibet, especially not the war with the Soviets. Let's get more political power so we can negate our warlord integration. And we can push the Japanese out here. And we don't need to improve artillery at the moment. What do we need to improve? I'd love to actually make support equipment. But let's get some uh, decryption going. And push the Japanese out of there? Probably not. But I guess we are very interesting looking China. We just. Well, China has expanded far north. Farther north than I could have anticipated, especially with what people we have. With our vassals. With really weird looking China. Uh, you don't need 21 troops here. So let's go and reassign almost all of you here. And then just keep like three or something. Because I don't think we're going to break the Japanese here and they're probably not going to be able to break us here. Anyway, that should be the last port that pretty much defends us from J Japan. So we should be fine. Also, if you need. If you have 17 ports you need to defend. 18 points, you need probably 36 infantry divisions. So I'll just give you 
six more to use. I at least want two divisions, I report. Because all these Japanese naval invasions are making me a bit worried. Anyway, somehow we are... Piercing? How piercing? I don't... We don't really have the equipment to pierce tanks. Uh, what do you... We have... It's my cavalry division. I'm confused. Evidently, horses with some machine guns can pierce tanks. I am shocked. Whatever works, I suppose. Oh. And there we go. The Germans have uh, declared the war. Uh, Non-aggression packs. What are, they? what are they anyway? Not a thing. What's a non-aggression pact? How careers in the common turn. It's a bit early for you, isn't it? And we can get a non-aggression pact with the Germans, and also they want to rise the faction. Different ideology for all the maybe draw into. Just because we were with the Japanese. Is that what you're really so mad about? They're not even your ally. I haven't done anything good for you. So we're making a surprising good amount of guns. And we can get Lordship over Indochina. Which wouldn't be bad, but we need to improve our economics just for the moment. Ah, uh, but look at this. Pure infantry versus pure infantry. And the Soviets are really suffering. And the Mongolians are now dead. Which is fantastic news. Let's improve your line. And let's continue the push. Push, push, push. Got a computing machine done. Let's get more decryption going. And then we can uh, out decrypt the Soviets. Also, integrate Yunnan. And we'll take Northeast Siberia as well. And I think we really just need to. Actually, yeah, I should do that. What can I go in? A, probably these landlocked provinces here. I just want to improve Beijing. I really want more civilian factories made. I'd love to get to 100. And it should be time to ask Sin King to join the war? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Now I get something else for the Soviets to worry about. Oh yeah, China's getting bigger and bigger by the day. Well, the Germans are... Eh. They actually might lose. Wouldn't be surprised if they did. Actually, they're making games. I, Soviets probably are just... They can't fight this one, two fronts. But it's what they get for, well, trying to fight someone on two fronts. Trying to clear war on me, as well as now fighting the Germans. Should have focused on the true enemy, not on just me. And then let's go get a stable economy, and then we can probably try to get that extra research slot. Something I wouldn't be opposed to. Oh, look, we got surrounded. Ah, that's painful to watch. Okay, 
Uh, I don't think I can actually leave these troops. So I'm going to just have to take the full army and just push. Or maybe we can actually link up. And just let the AI uh, hold this front. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. It's going to be the greatest rescue of all time. Yeah, I'll take half of you. And start retreating our forces. It's going to be a very weird front line. But we will save these 12 troops, saving Private... Cheng, di di Cheng. Directed by his team spirit. I mean, it does look like the Soviets are giving it their all to keep me from saving my men. I, I really don't want you to do that. We're so close. We can rescue them. It can happen. One day. There we go. Beautiful. Probably just want to keep that guy here from not surrounding all these guys. But I know. No. You've already messed up already once. I don't want you to do it again. So with these new 12 infantry... I just want you to go here and take Moscow. Can I say I'm stuck everyone, please? Thank you. There we go, okay. Oh, Town of Tuba is, is, is cleared. But the world has been saved from a new world global menace. I can imagine one day that Tantu will be here to wreck me. One day it will happen. I know it. And Yunnan's almost integrated. Which is really good news. So I think we'll take out uh, Shang Zi. Just so our borders can look nice. And let's make more artillery. Okay. So now we're pushing all fronts. Just slowly eking our way through. And we got the Romans to Three Kingdoms. Aha. Let's find that achievement. There we go. So, there we go. A China puppet added an annex to Yunnan and Gonzi click. Yay. Achievement one. How many divisions? We've got two divisions. It's a bit lame. I suppose we can add it to someone who needs it. Actually, no. We should add you to you. Yeah, get 14 divisions now. We have 47, 48,000 infantry equipment. So everyone should actually be using a assault rifle at this point. We're just making so many guns. It's great. Of course, the Japanese are going to continuously non-stop and naval invade me, despite the fact that they could probably just take Taiwan. I mean, there's actually nothing them stopping them from taking it. She's out of support, Japan. If you're 50 divisions, but you can do a bit better with that. Just take literally Taiwan. That's all you need to do. And make your job a lot easier. Yeah, he's not that great. They, they don't think like a regular person. Look at this to a green tax. I don't think that's gonna really do much. Let's get some warfare, at the very least. Okay. So, do you have all these infantry equipment uh, templates? My bad. 
Just get rid of all these. It's so useless. We already have biomage army experience. And so if we had artillery, how much would we require? 1800, not bad. So we should actually be making it sometime soon. Could probably change our production a bit. Just keep it at 50 factories. Making all of our guns. And please just have that up. We're actually making two political power a day. Almost two political power a day. It's pretty good. As far as myself. Also the Germans are making decent progress against the Russians. Let's see. It looks like uh, Germans will be taking a lot of the participation. But as long as the Japanese don't join the Axis, we are we are fine. Actually, if these are all the wars, then where am I? Where do I exist in this war? Fifty-three percent. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's much better than Germany. So it's kind of a race, a race to Moscow that we need to go and steal from the Soviets. We do have, I think, enough infantry to hold down all the front lines mostly. And the Soviets seem to be running out of equipment. So as long as we keep pushing, we shouldn't lose. The Soviets are done for. Looks like they're about to take Moscow and Stalingrad is almost done as well. Unfortunately, uh, when, if we do take care of the Germans, we're going to have to be needing a lot more than just infantry to sweep them off their feet. Probably need some proper tanks. Couldn't it renegotiate the unequal treaties. Yeah, the Soviet Union's almost done for. The Germans are going to get a lot more war score just for taking all the major points. I think they just took Stalingrad, yes, they did. And last is Leningrad, and that should be it because all the points can be taken from me on this side. Difficult for them. It looks like the Germans are going to get the full capitulation on their side from Germany. Lots of re realign a few lines here. So that we'll take all the resources, most of the resources here. We won't take the Caucasus. So Germany will still have all the oil. But we do have a lot of tungsten. Good stuff. Some iron that we can iron out. Let's see. So that ruin our economy a bit more. And Japan, actually, wait, they did declare war on their allies. That is amazing. Thanks, Japan. So they probably tried it one after the Dutch East Indies, I think. Which means Japan will be an easier target to take out because, you know, we can actually use our navy once Japan's navy is blown out of the water. I'd love to see how many troops they have on this border. So it's using. Probably not a lot. I think they probably have more on my side than they do with the Germans. But we are going to take a significant part of the Soviet Union. The only downside is that we're not going to get all the important parts. Though, hopefully the Soviets did build a lot of industry in Siberia. Because that will be super useful. So we might have to get some piercing going. Oh, there we go. Uh, I mean, I was in this war too, you know. You know, game? I, I guess the Germans will get ill. 
protect the Chinese Empire. The Chinese government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated to the United Kingdom. Mongolian government has gone into exile and the main forces have captured the United Kingdom. What? what? I I'm confused. We're not the United Kingdom. The new Mongol Empire. Uh, wait. So because we capitulated... Okay, because we capitulated these areas here, these, these states, and then Germany made them a puppet, that means we, the United Kingdom, took it over even though we're not counted as the allies. Uh, right. Well, we can sell like the Soviet Union, but, you know, well, we have all the manpower anyway. I guess I'll be my own... My own part of China? So, I, I own the land? No. Um... What is... Okay, game is now just perfectly freaking out. <sighs> oh, yeah, that makes... I'm actually a little bit mad. For being honest. So because I was... Oh, yeah, Chinese Empire is now insisting. And they're Papa of Italy. Um... So, that happened. I don't understand what happened. But now I want to destroy the German Reich because that is that actually <laughs> I'm not very pleased about that okay it's fine it's fine we're just gonna have to fight the same war again part two part two against the Germans at least I can get artillery. That's my only bonus. So we can't just fought the entire war for nothing. And I'm being a bit serious. Uh, I don't... That kind of makes me just... Wonder. <clears throat> so this is my land. It's my land. Cheater. Still haven't got that achievement because I think this achievement might have broken. Oh, there's an independent Korean government. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm just really... <laughs> okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's not really fine. So, let's declare that war again. Just try again. This time I'm going to Berlin. Okay, boys, I know you fought hard for this war, but... Due to a peace treaty, everything we just took is actually nullified. So we're just going to have to invade Germany through Asia. Uh, I do kind of want Paradox to fix this kind of thing though. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Just a little bit. It's 
If they could, that would be great. So we're going to try everything again. Off to Germany. Okay. So, I'm just going to have to the global and then literally everyone again. Um, we'll make a small force to take care of the former communist bloc of Mao. Which now he exists, again. He's just a fascist. Oh, of course they're... Of course they're breaking in through here again. Um, yeah. Need to take care of that. So what you do is to re-attack with all the cavalry. I'm going to clean up the cavalry again. Okay, so I proved a bit more men. So now you have more army group size. Our good general, level 7, has uh, I don't think I should prove that much. Actually, I don't think he can get adaptable. He's zero max amount traits, which is really sad. You, on the other hand, have gotten adaptable, which means we can uh, climatize to the cold a bit more. Gave him cavalry expert, cavalry guy. Proved him with a camouflage expert. Might be a decent idea. This guy here has not been improved at all, because he's really rubbish. And as for you, oh, I don't want to replace you yet. You got him chase, but. But for now, though, we're going to have to change the war, how it's, how it's working. Because evidently Germany just took all the land that we, we were supposed to take. So we're just going to have to... Actually, yeah, technically we still occupy this land for some reason. And the Germans are now trying to line up the troops at our border. Wonderful. Well, we have to wrap, uh, wrap this up and see what we do in the next episode. So if you like the series, do leave me a like and a comment. Let me know how you think about it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. See you.